there are nicotine replacement therapies that are available over the counter. That would be the nicotine patch and the nicotine gum. The benefits of these are that they are you know, easily accessible, that they are easy to use, they're convenient. Um, you can, you know, it can be done kind of inconspicuously. Um, so not everybody's, you know, maybe knowing that you're trying to quit, but it can be something that you just, you know, has done personally. Um, the cost of these are not that expensive. It's about um, $120 um, over over the um, time that you would need to use it, and that may be about three months, we say. Um, then there are prescription nicotine replacement therapies, such as the inhaler um, and a nasal spray. Of course, these may be a little more costly, but you would want to check with your insurance, and it may be that they cover it because, of course, insurance companies are have a vested interest in you quitting smoking as well. And that's something else that your insurance rates may actually go down for non-smokers. So that's a really, not only maybe saving money by not buying cigarettes, you may save money by you know, getting your insurance premiums being lowered. Um, there are also prescription non-nicotine or non-nicotine prescription drugs. And those are things like Zyban and Chantix. Zyban affects the chemicals in the brain that nicotine responds to, kind of acts as an antidepressant. Chantix is going to prevent your body from experiencing the physical um, stimulation from the nicotine. So they, they work in similar ways, but are slightly different. Um, they're both effective. Chantix is the newest drug that's come on the market to quit smoking. Um, Zyban has been around a little bit longer. Well, you'll need to talk to your doctor because they're prescriptions, but ask them about the pros and cons of, of both, and maybe that one of those is better for you than the other.